How y'all doing? I want to welcome y'all to Strawberry Space, where we discuss transgender related topics. Me as a trans woman in particular, yeah, I would say this pride is more, um, I don't want to say fearful, but yeah, it's a little bit more anxious. Uh, yeah. The feelings are a little bit more anxious and a little more like, mm, where do I want to step out to? Where am I going to be celebrated? Like, where yeah. is it going to be safe? And I guess the answer is we never really know. I mean, life is not guaranteed anywhere you go. So, yeah. Well, hello, Strawberry Space. Listen, y'all are my good Judy. My girl Gia said you have to be safe. And I'm always good in every hood, okay? So, listen, for her, it's inbound is safety is introvert is giving in is inside is everything but with me i'm outside honey covid did a number on me and i was essential and afraid and never got to really see the world and i went from you know high school to job corps to college to the military but i'm outside here's some pictures of pride for me in the dmv y'all and Strawberry Space Transmitted Women. It was a great moment and a good time. I'm so looking forward to the actual pride because, you know, where I'm from, we have the trans pride and the actual pride. Ken the man showed up. It was uh, great and it was spectacular. So in addition to that, you know, um, we do have to be aware and conscious that, you know, trans men and women are at an all time high target. We are under the radar. I just want to ask my sister and the counterparts to be allies. Please have our front, side, middle, and back this summer. We're definitely coming to fuck shit up. Um, you know, Gia is very much in the community. We know her from, you know, Drag Race. And we just want to wish everyone, you know, a safe go round. Please, you know, use the buddy system. Um, my concluding thoughts is that... You know, we just want these events to have security and know that we're not taking away from cisgender um, violence. It's just for, you know, some people in the heteronormative community, it's like assault, right? Uh, because, you know, it's cause and effect. But if the cause is just you being yourself, for someone in the LGBT community, it's a hate crime. So that's a little different because, you know, someone could just look at you and... um want to induce violence and you have done nothing wrong but just simply coexist okay so i just want all of my strong subscribers i'm almost to 100 y'all a trans men and women to you know good luck on everything like i said i reiterate you know just try to do everything before the sun goes down if you outside like me at the dark being familiar faces and spaces and you know <laughs> listen we're gonna come back for the fourth and independence day so this is miss strawberry space and thank you